Hey guys, this is Eric Realist and I'm back. Welcome back, my real fam. <sighs> I have an interesting topic today that kind of grinds my gears. I never talked about this on this channel before, but <sighs> antinatalism. For those who don't know, antinatalists are people, basically, who don't like people who procreate. They think procreation is disgusting. By disgusting, I mean, I guess they don't believe in it. They don't believe in having kids. Let me pull up the, a definition up here on Google. Antinatalism. It's a philosophical position and social movement that assigns a native value to birth. Mm -hmm. Antinatalists argue that people should abstain from procreation because it's morally bad. In scholarly and literary writings, various ethical foundations have been presented for natalism. Yo, what? <laughs> Yo, I, 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 I don't know what. The word natalism comes from the Latin objective for birth. Yeah, natalis, natalis, however you pronounce it. Hmm, it's a Latin word that means birth, so yeah, if you're anti-natalist, that means you're not for births. I think this is ridiculous because I might be stepping on a landmine here, but why would you hate something that's supposed to naturally happen? See, people get on my nerves when they talk about they don't want to have kids and they don't want to procreate and want to bring more kids into this world and just fuck the world, yet they still want to fuck. You know what I mean? Sex is for procreation. Now, of course, that's way far out there, and people are going to sit there and say, no, you can still have sex just for fun, and blah, 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 yeah, you can, but okay, what's the overall thing? What's the overall reason? It's to make children. So the concept of antinatalism, the concept, the fact that there's a group of people out there who hate people who have children is ridiculous to me like I can't even understand I have five children now I can't say they were born in the best of conditions monetarily however I wanted them and I brought them here and that's how it's gonna be I've always wanted kids I've always wanted to have kids so we brought them here because that was just our thing that was our deal that's what we wanted to do I just can't fathom, I can't bring myself to ever be an antinatalist. That's just me. I can't do it. There are people born in bad situations every day. There are people born in poor situations. There are people who shouldn't even be having children at all. There are abusive people out there. They have children and all they do is abuse them. I'm not for that. Then again, you can't stop people from having kids, you know? A lot of people out here having kids who shouldn't be going to deserve kids. And there are people who do deserve kids who don't have them. It happens. But, like I said, I, I, don't, I don't understand antinatalism. Like, someone explain, if you're that type of person who doesn't want to, want, want to procreate, if you don't want to bring children here, explain, please. And don't give me the bullshit excuse, the bullshit excuse of, oh, the world's overpopulated. To me, that's bullshit. I do not think the world's overpopulated. Are you serious? Have you looked at a map lately? Like, The world is not overpopulated. The city is overpopulated. Get straight. The damn cities are overpopulated. What's not overpopulated is the country, the land that has been stolen from us. Land that we can't attain. Those, those areas are not populated. They never have been. There's a bunch of states out there with open land. There's countries with open land. Land we've never even seen. Land we'll never, never even see at all. It's probably unattainable land. But either way, the world is not pop overpopulated. There's no such thing. This earth has enough space for everyone. 
You know? That's what I believe. It really does. I hate when people walk around claiming that the world, the world is overpopulated. No, that's what they want you to think. They want you to think that so you won't have any more kids. Duh. Population control. Hello. Like. Anyway, antinatalists are the type of people who probably don't even believe in population control, you know? They probably just don't believe that we should populate anymore because they are, their other justification is there are plenty of kids out there who need homes. There are kids in, you know, foster homes and whatnot who deserve to be adopted and we should go out and adopt them. Well, I agree. If it's for you, if you want to adopt them, go ahead. But that's not for everybody. Not everybody wants to adopt a child that they did not bear, you know? That's not for everybody. And, you know, like I said, I don't really understand the concept. I don't understand people's full mindsets on that, you know? Hey, maybe something I'm not understanding. Enlighten me. But it'll never be me, you know? That's not... Definitely not in the cards for me. If you want to have kids, go for it. I applaud you. I'm not saying anything against having kids. I don't care even if you don't have the so-called money. Because no one ever fully has the money to have a child when they have a child. Do you know how much it costs to have a child these days? Thousands? Like, come on. But do you have that one child? Whether you have insurance or not, it's supposed to cost thousands. I think the last I heard was like $32,000 just to have a child. That's bullshit. It's bullshit. You cannot put a price on human life. You just can't. You can't put a price on having a child. And that's why they've scared people away from having children in the first place. And they made it seem so bad because, oh, when you're not doing your duty, you're just having kids and you're putting them, you're using the government to pay for them. You shouldn't have had them in the first place. Really? So you're telling me that's wrong? Having a child is wrong. But you agree that the government should be charging you $32,000 to have a child. Why are we putting a price on human life? Like, no. No. Stop. Get rid of that bullshit mindset. Like, I... I, I don't understand. And antinatalists, they are some of the most cruel people. I've... Y'all, I've been on Twitter a long time, and Twitter tells you a lot about the world. Twitter tells you everything. There are all kinds of people on Twitter. And people on Twitter are brutally honest a lot of times. I've seen some horrible tweets. I've seen antinatalists chew people like me out to the death over an opinion. And it's ridiculous. It's honestly ridiculous. Like, can we just agree to disagree? You don't want to have kids? Cool, that's on you. That's your problem. You don't have to have kids. No one's forcing you to have kids. But don't pick on people who do have kids and who do want to have kids, you know? We have a genuine heart to want to raise kids. There's nothing wrong with that, you know? There are a lot of people who have, they have an open heart and they want to give and they want to love and they want to give birth. That's just how some people are. Now, if you don't, like I said, that's on you. But do not hate on people for doing that. People will have to make their own decisions. And whether or not they have the so-called proper salary to bring a child into this world is none of your damn business, honestly. You know? It's none of your damn business. Because I'm quite sure you're doing a lot of things that you can't necessarily afford. I'm sure you're doing some things that aren't so-called morally right. I'm sure if I peered into every one of y'all's lives, I can find something that's not exactly pure or, you know, right or morally well, if you know what I mean. There's nothing wrong with wanting to have kids, you know? Just don't bash people for your decisions. It's not, it's not your business. I really hate antinatalists. They, like I said, they're the cruelest. Based on how they act online, they are the cruelest people. They want to justify why we shouldn't have any more kids. And then they want to say, you know, this is going on in the economy and Trump this and Trump that. I don't give a damn. If people want to have kids, then let them. Don't bash them for it. Again, agree to disagree. It's not your decision. Okay? Grow a heart sometime. Stop being cruel. Ugh. Anyway, I think I'm done talking about that topic. Yeah, that's the topic of antinatalism for you. 
Let me know your comments and opinions down below. What do you think? Have you ever encountered this? Anybody told you otherwise? Blah, blah, blah. You all know what to do. Engage in the comments. You guys need to comment more. Like You, you watch my videos and I appreciate the likes and whatnot, but you guys need to comment, you know? Let's comment and talk. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day, second hour, month, minute, and decade.